Hey guys, and welcome to Satch VGM Podcast, episode 6, Scariest Game Ever. This is ever. your host, Jess Mark. Your host, Jess Mark. Just Nate right here. <laughs> right You're here. just stealing my name now. Yeah. You're just stealing my name. Yeah. You're, no, host, Jess Mark. <laughs> host, Jess Mark. And, oh, it's, it's Nate Bid, my bad. Yeah, Nate Bid, co-host. Awesome. Yeah, I, awesome. I, I we, really make the, we make the entire Sesh team. There's nobody else. There's, there's nobody else here except... What? what? No, it's just... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. What was that? What was that? Um, oh, uh, it's, it's this guy over here. It's just Ed. Just Ed. <laughs> Our beautiful producer, beautiful, yeah. oh, elegant. His hair is silver. Shiny, gold, mm. shimmery clouds. Of unicorns. Ed for the win. <laughs> he looks like a hey. unicorn. Ed, say, say one more thing. Say something else. Something else. And also joining us infinitely for the show Hopefully. forever is our fourth man we're gonna call him number four he's in prison yeah you know he was in prison and we got him out <laughs> so literally from ev- this episode f- till episode a billion because we're going for that number yeah um everyone meet chris hey everyone he's um, he's pretty lively yeah he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's a really excited to be here yeah it's... I, I heard some people call him pan tom fan tom <laughs> Fat Tom. Fat Tom. Fan Tom. Fat Tom. He's pretty athletic, though. Oh, I mean, he's, yeah. you guys should, you guys should see the guy. I, I don't know. I don't talk about guys on the show. I don't guys. like him. It's a little weird. Uh, if you join us for episode six, I know you've probably heard maybe a few more episodes. I imagine they are joining us if he's hearing I, I'm, you right I'm now. pretty sure. Yeah. I mean, you're listening this long. Yeah. Just you heard, But we're finishing up our entire theme of the month, which was actually scary games. So it's a long ass month. It was a very long month. Yeah, it was crazy. The worst month with five Mondays. <laughs> yeah. Know, right? So our first week we had games that we didn't think were scary. They mm-hmm. actually were scary. Mm-hmm. Our second week we had zombies. 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 That makes sense. Yeah. I think it makes sense. Zombies. Yeah. We had zombies. Yeah, it was zombies. Our third week we had up. Oh, we got drunk. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah okay. We got drunk on October first. Yeah. Game, games week. of drinking. Exactly. Yes. And our fourth week we had ghosts. Last week we had mm-hmm. ghosts. I had a bit I had a good time with that. We had Chris and Sean. Up oh, this Chris right here. Yeah. Yes. And Sean was rambling, was on really the spot. good. Was, which time. Is Sean on the spot. We're finishing up this month with actually the scary games. The ones that we really played and we were just like, OMG, this is so frightening. I'm just going to wet my pants and this whole couch is gonna be messed up. Mom changed the couch. Can she change the couch? Can your mom change the couch? The entire couch? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. My mom was balling. She just had all the money. She just shook it up. I didn't, have, I didn't have closet. new couch money. I, I didn't have new couch money either. I'm lying. I wish I had new couch money. <laughs> we get new couch money. New couch money. <laughs> we get new couch money. Uh, so this entire episode is dedicated to the actual games that were scary. Those vi- those vi- that video game music that really actually shook us. And what about that? video game music that actually showed us. Was it loud? Was it like, you know, was it just this really dampening type tone? What was it? How did it set the scene? Because honestly, with these super scary games, they need this, they need that music to actually be as the extra element. The, the games without the music, it just it's not scary at all. It's, you, it's not. It, it doesn't, it needs to be there. It sets Absolutely. the whole mood. It just makes you scared. Exactly, exactly. But before we get scared, and before Nate starts wetting the bed, the last episode, <laughs> let's get some news from Ed for the win. Ed. And here's the news. <laughs> Hanging out with zombies, Ed? Yeah, absolutely. They're my news crew. There's a few release dates coming out this week. Games coming out? Games. Yeah. New games. games don't, games don't come out during the week. They what just, are you talking about? Okay. Yeah. Like, Let's hear them. They come out like during the day. Not the a big week. one is coming out tomorrow on October 30th, Assassin's Creed 3. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And okay. also coming out on that day is WWE 12. Yes. Of course. 12? <laughs> I know mean? Chris is ready for that. I mean, 13. Oh, 13. I was going to say, cause we've got, I've got 12. I can't use another yeah. one. Absolutely not. <laughs> and we've got a movie coming out this weekend that isn't a video game. It's a movie. But it has video game characters in it. Wreck It Ralph. You know what? Ooh. Let's talk about this because Wreck It Ralph. How do you feel about that? I mean, like you know, what, video game movies. I, I've always, I'm, I've always like, hey, you know, it'd be a great idea if they came out with a video game music mm-hmm. movie because the entire gaming industry would check it out, or at least majority of it. And now we actually do have a movie with some key characters that we all grew up with mm-hmm. that we will love to see on the big screen TV. 
I mean, of course they have these side anime movies with Sonic and side little cartoon movies. Dr. Mario Robotics in it. And, and Zelda, but yeah. I mean, Zangief. Like, exactly. Yeah. And Bison. It, yeah. it, it, looks, it looks like a lot of fun. Um, go check it out. We're going to check it out. We're going to take some pictures and upload them on the website. But I, I'm excited. Like, well, you know. I like how they portray Qbert as a bad guy somehow. And or was it was he a bad guy or was just that was I'm thinking of the ghost. Uh, yeah, the I ghost think is the ghost. Guy. Look, yeah. they, oh my god, the ghosts are terrible. Oh, they're scary. What are you doing? Yeah. Just hunting, hunting poor Pac Man. <laughs> poor Pac Man. Pac Man's just trying to eat his oh, packs. There's just packs of they're pack lunches that Miss Pac Man left for him, and he's just trying to eat them. And the big one gets. Well, why are they miles. spread around town? Why because he she she's guiding him to her. You know, it's it's, a, it's work. You got to work for it. Goes in a circle, though. You know, that's a weird. You got to work for it. No, it's actually. The ladies. That's a weird interpretation, I guess. Yeah, Pac Man. What else we got? There's a couple of sales going on right now. What? Halloween sales. You saying I'm broke? Yeah, yeah. you saying it? Like, I you saying I can't afford a game, a full price game? I know you can, but you could buy even more games. Well, you just blew my mind. <laughs> what? You could get five games for the price of one. That's what not, sale that's is that? That's not true. What, we what's don't the sale? that. There's a Steam Halloween sale going on right now. All until, right. For all the PC gamers out there. Yep. Until. Halloween on October 31st, and EA is having an app sale on Halloween. All their apps are 99 cents. Wait, EA has EA is giving a sale? Yes. You're, wait, you're telling me that they're not raising their prices for the sale? Yeah, EA is usually the evil, tyrannical are they aren't, aren't they not the evil guys? I think they're raising their price just to lower them. <laughs> well, great! I'm All the microtransactions are ten thousand dollars for the games that are only a buck. I'm excited for sale. So we got EA sale and we got Steam as well. You mm-hmm. know, I'm not a big PC gamer, so Nate, you saying you're like you're huge. You're actually oh huge yeah, we'll meet it when we play. Yeah, uh, like, big, got hundreds of games. Yeah, hundreds, you, literally, quite literally. Uh, lately, what has it been? The original Fear I was playing actually. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to go through the whole series, starting with the first one all the way to three. I said I haven't played two or three before. I actually haven't even seen what they look like, so I'm kind of excited to get through Fear and then get to the next one to see how they've improved or maybe even decreased. And you can pick up a couple of these games on the with the sale. I don't know which ones are on sale yet. I don't just are, visit. Steam or store.steampowered.com and they have some games half off, even 75% off. I'm not exactly sure which games, but you can check it out yourself. Left for Dead, I saw Left for Dead recently was on yeah, sale, and for like Rock, five cool. bucks. Rock of Ages was on sale too. Like it's, cool. it's a really cool indie game. Mm-hmm. Sounds like they got some good games on there. Yeah, no, yeah. It's, they're all great games. Yeah, Boot Origin. Is there any more news? Yeah. Borderlands is coming to the iPhone or iPad. What? Borderlands? iPhone yes. or iPad? Wait, is it the full game or what is it? It's actually a new game called Borderlands Legends. Oh, okay. it's, so it's a like top down it... shooter. Okay. Am I still going to have to wait six hours for it to be interesting? Possibly. <laughs> Quite possibly. So wait. I want it. How much is I mean, do we know how much it's, it's running for? Like 20 bucks? It's going to come out on Halloween, October 31st. And mm. the iPod version is. Our iPhone version is five dollars, and the iPad version is seven dollars. I wonder what makes it Borderlands. It's got probably, Borderlands characters. Probably the it, characters. It's um, got all the guns. It's gonna have a million uh, trillion guns. I don't think it's a bad idea Not to have oh. to have a, any type of you know kind of side game on a on a mobile platform. I think almost every popular game should have something like that. Absolutely. The licensed supplemental games they can be terrible, but they can also be a lot of fun. Exactly. You know, Call of Duty Zombies on the phone isn't too bad. You know, it definitely plays out pretty it, well. I, and I mean, like, right. you still got to think about the mobile market and how it exploded. And you know, we're actually probably dealing with a lot of gamers who only deal with that mobile market. Like you know, as you so like, you're a PC gamer, more of a PC gamer, more of a console gamer. Yeah. There are mobile gamers out there. Yeah. You know, we have to rec- recognize these I, guys. Do, you know? I wish, uh, I don't even know if it's capable of doing it, but I wish they could release the full game. Like, it's just the same game on all the platforms. Yeah, that'd be you know? nice. I mean, P- the the, VS, the the Vita actually is trying to go for that. It's console quality on mobile platforms. That's what they're going for. Yeah, I actually heard that they're going to, they're trying to gear towards releasing the same title on the PS3 and the PS Vita at the same time. Yeah, and that's what they're going for. Yeah, yeah so. all the Sony uh, first party titles actually, when you, when you pre order them, you actually get the Vita copy as well as the PS3 copy. See, that's oh, wow. great. That's, 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 cool. It's kind of like buying the Blu-ray and getting the DVD exactly. at the same time. Yeah, I, yeah. That's the way it should be, really. I, I, yeah, you so know. you don't have to buy the same damn thing twice. If anything, Sony's doing that right. Oh, good, good job for Sony. Hey, good job, Sony. Good job, doing, EA, doing with yeah. selling. With sale? That's cool. For once. Yeah. That's cool. Thanks for finally saving me money that I'm still giving to you. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? Anything else? I got Everyone. some bad news. What's bad Anyone? news? Bad news? For who? On slightly a jar of chest? Didn't I tell you? Never, never. Bad news. We just got <laughs> canceled. <laughs> <laughs> we just got You're canceled. yelling at me. <laughs> no, but G4 is rebranding. 
So no. Wait, we're talking about the only video game. I mean, the kind of video game s show mm-hmm. on, on any network. Yeah. So okay. a, Attack of the Show and X Play will be gone in two months. I'm sad X Play is gone, even though it's been bastardized from its original conception. But it's gone now. I like the energy that they had, and I'm glad somebody did it. You know, I feel like it was something everybody's asking for. Kind of like, a, hey, we want an anime network that's like, you know, it's popular as Spike or something. When are we going to get that? And, you know, I mean, we actually had a video game channel. Mm-hmm. Channel dedicated to video games, and, you know, they, they did it. And obviously they can't do it because you two, we got game, we've got, I don't know, gamers are smart. We're all over, we're online, we're on Steam, we're on mobile. We don't watch G4. We listen to podcasts. We listen it's, to it's, we listen to Satch VGM <laughs> dot com. We listen to Satch VGM <laughs> dot com. Satch baby, <laughs> Satch baby. Um, but I mean, like you know, you you've seen you know Machinima, and you know they get, we've got guys doing personal reviews that are even way more popular. Some of these G four. Do you think that online video game uh, reviews and stuff like that is actually going to be the, the premier way of viewing that kind of content? A- absolutely. Or is it is it going to be some kind of show that's going to Take I think over that. YouTube is doing a lot right now. I mean, it's you're able to search what you want when you want, and everything's at your fingertips. Like if you want to look up a review for Assassin's Creed Two, you could do it right away instead of waiting for a show to tell you what. Right. Like when think. you want it, you could get yeah. it right there, and it's cheaper. Everything's yeah, just so free. on demand now. It's, I feel like yeah. if there's any kind of show base, they're going to be try to like give us the information on the same platform that we're taking it like they're actually playing the games on like we're going to get our news from xbox oh, live yeah. you know sent directly to us right. based on what we're actually paying attention to yeah. this is so smart that's such a smart <laughs> addition to the show i, I like it yeah, yeah absolutely i can't i can't even i can't say that i don't even know what you just said it was just <laughs> Neither do I. And, and, and there's so many different platforms to get information from online like uh, it's it's surprising me it's surprising it's surprising to me who like how you get different information like my, my friend jen she uh she uh, she told me like I was I was asking her about like have you ever heard of this app called Appy Gamer and she's like no I don't I don't read reviews I watch them on YouTube I'm like oh I'm sorry you know like I've never done that I don't really watch reviews on YouTube I'll read them I'll I'll read what things are like on them but it's, it's way it's just multiple venues yeah. of getting that information well I mean I'm sad to see them go but I'm actually interested to see what they're gonna make that channel now I know it's supposed to rival Sh- um, Spike excuse me but um I at the same time like Spike has all the douchebag guy shows being a douchebag and being a man. So, like, you know, it's going to be interesting what they're going to run. The number one douchebag channel. I mean, it might, it might bring some opportunities for guys to, like, have, you know, programming. Or Dude, you know what? I'll be now. okay with it as long as they just air nothing but cheaters and the host gets stabbed every episode. <laughs> that was a good episode. <laughs> it was amazing. Someone boat. got actually stabbed? Yeah. Yes, the host it was the on the boat, stabbed. even. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Did, he, did he die? I like death. No, he was I, just standing there like, oh. Bring on the cops <laughs> reruns, too, please. Oh. What you gonna do? What you gonna do with you? When you come like, dum, 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 ba, dum. Like, what did he say? I have no idea what he said. <laughs> let's, let's move on to the show, guys. So, we each got our VGMs, like our top picks for the scariest games. We've our ever favorite. Our favorite. And before we get this kicked off, I want to say what what were you looking for and what kind of resonate re- resonated with you for these VGMs to actually really make that game frightening? And, like, was it the tension? Was it the piano? Was it the violin? Because a lot of these tracks do sound very similar. You know, they uh, a lot of them sound very cloudy. A lot of them very, sound very... Atmospheric. Atmospheric, and, absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's a little spacey. Clocks and, in the background. Absolutely. So what What were you looking for? What kind of... What spooks you? What co- Basically, why, why did you choose that answer? Why, why did you choose why, that why, one? Why did you pick that one? <laughs> uh, I'd say, let's go with Chris, the new guy here. I would just say that, you know, scary music is, is such a tricky beast. Like, you don't want it to have, like, a catchy melody. You don't want it to kind of get stuck in your head. You, but you want it to set the mood. And you want it to always, you know, you want it to resonate throughout. But you don't want to be able to recognize it out of a, out of a lineup. I think that's specific for scary music. Yes. Definitely, for sure. What, what was your pick? Uh, my pick, um, I went with the scariest game ever, in my opinion. The, the game that still scares me. Actually, going through the picks this week and, you know, researching the games. I jumped out of my seat again, uh, out of a game that I played 15 times, uh, you know, and it still it still haunts me to this day. And just watching someone else play it is terrifying. I picked uh, Friday the 13th for the original Nintendo. Ooh. Oh, see, it is the simplest game. It kind of it just barely follows the plot of the movie, where you're kids at Camp Crystal Lake and you're trying to escape Jason, and that's where the 
comparison. So, so you're, you're playing this when you're a little kid, just, just this little 8-bit <laughs> version of Friday the 13th. Yeah, this is before, you know, you got ID'd at the GameStop when you go buy your games. You know, I bought the game. Oh, it's Friday the 13th. It's a Nintendo game. No big deal. And I, you know, play it at, ho at home. My mom goes to work and just has to be, be babysat by my Nintendo. And I'm just sitting there playing it by myself. And you're, you're walking around. You're, you're hitting these little zombie guys that, you know, manifest in the street. With rocks. With rocks or knives or shovels, whatever you pick up. And you have to get torches and light the fireplaces. But when you go into these houses, you kind of... Since it was such an archaic game, you, there's only you know, cer certain uh, ways you can turn. And you're like, it's, as you turn around, uh, the level changes inside the house. And then all of a sudden, Jason will just pop out and yes. immediately, not even just... Not even say, hey, what's going on? I'm about to just immediately start stabbing yeah. at you. You have no time to react. It's he just, just like manifests movies. out of nowhere. Is with this that a theme whoosh. that plays like, throughout the, the entire game? This is the in-cabin. So this, this is the scary mood-setting music. This is uh -huh. when you're searching the house looking for Jason, and immediately he pops out with this just very generic battle music, but it's just this perfect combination of eeriness and I'm waiting. It. How's the battle system? Is you like Final Fantasy, you go into like this... No, it's, it's, all, it's all real time, right? You're throwing yeah, stuff at him? You're trying to get away? He just comes on a pattern and he goes back and forth and stabs like at you. Punch out real to, time? To, exactly, with pretty, punch pretty out. Much. You kind of have to duck away and dodge, and then when he goes back uh, into the background, you have to you know shoot your weapons at him. And then you can not, you can never kill him. You can just get him away from you, and then continue going that, around that, trying to save. That kind of sucks. You just can't kill him. You know, that, you that, don't. Yeah. You don't kill Jason. Even in the movies, you can't kill him. They yeah. exploded him, and he came back. You know. Oh, getting back to that VGM though, that that is very dope. Like honestly, I would probably go nuts listening to that. Like you know, for ten minutes, and then like Jason popping up. Yeah, we went through it. It's, it's all in loop. There's only like about four minutes of actual music in that game, uh -huh. uh, but you can sit there and play it for hours and hours, and it just keeps going over and again they... and over again. Every time that whoosh hits, yeah. oh. scary. Like, oh, he, he pops out at the most random times too. Like you're rowing a boat, he's swimming by, and, and then as the game gets progressively harder, you know, keep you know, losing more of your campers, he'll come out. Uh, on the on the trail, he'll just pop out of nowhere in every house you go to. You guys, you guys are in a clearly, purple jumpsuit. Clearly <laughs> shaken by this. Oh. By this, dude, I don't know why my parents bought me that game. <laughs> You're like, here, honey, we don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah, they call he, you. He, Edwin screaming downstairs. <laughs> yes, yeah, there yeah. he is. They're all Excellent. upstairs. Like, ha ha. <laughs> I, I, I'm not gonna lie, to you guys. I I am super afraid of scary games and scary movies. I am not the one. What was, what was your I, pick? I am not the one. Um, I want to leave a little backstory before I, I give my pick. We don't have time for we, it. We, nope. might, we might have time for it. Okay. But Let's hear it. Just, just to see, like, I'm, not a, I'm not a big gore fan. I'm not a gore fan. I know like a lot of movies are like that. And like um, I remember sophomore year of college for me, I you know I get back and I'm like, you know, let me watch a movie because everybody's kind of gone. Let me chill. And I've got, um, I've got Hostel. You know, we got hostile. I'm watching hostile. I'm like, oh, I haven't seen that bad. It was a scary movie. You know, I could do this. And then they start ripping these people apart, just <laughs> like you know, after they cut like the Achilles tendon. Oh, that was just oh, like, oh, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, hey, I don't want to watch this. It I'm like funny. sitting on a couch by myself, hope my stomach, looking like a little kid, home alone, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> and when he was blowtorching that woman's face up, uh, <laughs> I was like, man, she's never going to get man after that. You know what I mean? With a blowtorch in her face. Getting her eyeballs uh, hanging out and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. That was, she was very handsome after that. Handsome. Handsome. <laughs> handsome With one eyeball. Handsome, handsome at that. Um, you know, my pick was uh, Dead Space. Dead, Dead Space. Space. And I, I played a little bit of this, and then I got a freak scare. Wait. <laughs> as you should. So you don't like gore. Yet you picked Dead Space. I, well, it's a gory ass it's, game. The, it's a gory ass game. Again, I'm trying to be brave. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to be brave. Okay, you can't have. You can't just run from your fears your entire life. Okay, okay. you you embrace them. Okay. In this game. Exactly. <laughs> they jump out. I, I took you. I took yeah. Nate on that satch battle. I didn't want to do it, but I had to. <laughs> you just got to bring that. I had to. Sure. But listen to this theme. Theme is perfect. V, this VGM is absolutely perfect for just. Walking and just, yeah, absolutely. Because it's not, it's not to me. It's not music. I feel like you're waiting. You're just waiting you're, for something. You're happen. honestly waiting for something. And that that to me makes that perfect VGM for a scary game. It's like tension building up. You're hearing you when I'm walking through. You sound effects of your feet mm -hmm. picking up stuff. Maybe a gunfire, and you're just like the tension around this entire music is just like. When am I going to? What is going to pop up and kill me and shut my head <laughs> yeah, off? You know you're I mean? always on edge. It just starts Great. to make you crazy. Like, what the next decision I make is absolutely going to be my last. Exactly. One. Like, I'm 100 going to die right now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's too bad you didn't play throughout the whole game because no, no, it's you, not. No, it's not. Too bad. <laughs> yeah. No, but as you play on, 
the longer it goes, like you upgrade your weapons, you upgrade your suit, it gets easier and it doesn't get as scary. So it'd be better for you to conquer your fears. To conquer yeah. your fears. Maybe. I'll do it tomorrow. I promise. All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tomorrow. Good. Well, let's conquer your fears, Edwin, and here we oh, go. No. Ha- you were scared He's of. not afraid of anything. Oh, I'm afraid He's of He's a producer from hell. <laughs> well, my pick was Fatal Frame on the PS2. What is that? What is that? So, you're a girl, and you're armed with a camera. He just called you a girl. I am not a girl. Take it back. Just Mark is a take, girl. Take it back. Armed with a camera. <laughs> going through this haunted house, and... Remember I'm an angry black guy. Remember that? <laughs> angry black guy. Start, start the story over. Why is he going to be guy. angry? Why are you I'll, angry? Because right. I've got something to lose. No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. So, you're armed with a camera. That's your only weapon, and... You pretty much capture souls with it. Via the camera? Yes. Okay. So, like, a light will go on on your HUD. And for you who don't know, that's heads-up display. Heads-up display. Heads-up display. Search info. I like that. Yeah. But your lights lights up, and that means a ghost is nearby. So you bring up your camera, and when you have the circle on a ghost, it lights up blue, and you take a picture. But a lot of times, there's a lot of jump scares, and they just jump up right in front of you, and you got to instantly take a picture. But I was too freaked out to do that. I always dropped the controller and ran away. Jump scares are the worst, too. Yeah. You, 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 just, you think the game's all innocent, just walking around, like, oh, this looks kind of cool. And I was like, just ghost in your face, and you don't yeah. have to do. Especially when, like, it's first person, and you just looking around when you turn a corner, yeah, it's just, and you, and you can't move when you're doing the camera. It's just like you're just yeah, panning around. Yeah, you're just panning there, around. Right? I, I just love how huge, like, the entire, like, genre has become. And, like, you know, you go on to YouTube and you can actually bring up videos of, like, people's reaction to it. Mm. Yeah, this yeah. is millions the of views. Best. Millions yeah. of views of just people hilarious. getting scared playing through games. Wait, wait, wait. What is the point of this game, though? So you're running around taking pictures. Like, do you take the pictures and send them to the police? Or do you just... Does, does that, take... that just destroys oh, but the you're, ghost. you're capturing the soul. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. Because you used ghost killed your mom or something like that. I'm no, sorry. I think you're looking for a family member. I can't remember which one. Like maybe a sister. Okay. You sure they didn't kill his mom? Her mom. mom. Her mom. Okay. My mom. Like your sister gets lost in the house, and you're looking for it with the camera. It's always a house. It's always yeah, some haunted kind house. Of house. I, I mean, you have to have it. You know. I mean. The camera. No, the, the house. Oh. Spe- speaking of houses, I don't want to have it be like a haunted Walmart. Your your pick includes a house. My pick has includes Not a very a big house. Uh, well, there's, there's basements involved. Ooh, there's a lot of things sexy. in this one. Uh, I had, um, it's actually, everyone's played this one. I, uh, there's a whole, this new one just came out, actually. Uh, mm-hmm. Resident Evil 6. But I chose the original, not the very one that came out on PS1, uh, PSX. Uh, it was on the GameCube. Oh, the, the GameCube. The remake, yeah. yeah. And phenomenal game. Like, it was just like, I couldn't play this game in my room by myself. Literally, like, I was, I had to call my friend in, and I was like, come play this game with me. I want to beat it. But I literally can't play it by myself. It's terrifying. Like what, what they incorporated was these new zombies and a new mechanic was that you had to burn up the zombies after you killed them otherwise they'll come back as a oh, scarier zombie in a faster one like so they'll start chasing you kinda, and they'll be stronger kind of like that thing on uh, like the original Mario game where you hit on the head and then like if you didn't hit it when it flipped over it would like get back up oh yeah yeah it was, it was like a red crab I, I don't know what yeah I don't know what I was yeah that was a good that was a I don't know are you saying Mario okay never mind, <laughs> never mind. okay this game, it was just like, this, the music for the whole time was terrifying. There's, uh, I believe this was the one with the sharks, right? That still had the sharks in that one. Uh, it was just all around terrifying game. And obviously it was good enough to spawn a million sequels. So, okay, so it, w- it was a perfect remake with the. Oh, it was a great new, remake. Okay. I, I mean, like, no, it was, I, that was probably the first scary game I played. Resident Evil came out. Yeah. And I was like, let me grab this. And the timing with that game to me was it. You know, like you walk in a room, you load, you know, the door open, it loads up, and then it's a zombie there. You're like, oh shit, let me go back to that door. But <laughs> you, you know, but you had to, you still had to get to that. I mean, get to that door. The zombie would still be there. You walk past some places, and birds shoot through the window. But I don't think there was a lot of music. Like it was a lot of time where they literally drowned out the music, and it was just like either something like this. That yeah, you're it was, playing right it was now, definitely. Yeah, it was definitely. It was something like, like this or like nothing. Can you can you even call this music? I mean, it's, it's definitely can't. something. Yeah, yeah I mean, like you know. And the thing about this game that made it so scary was. 
they, something they took out of it was the, 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 the moving mechanics. It was tank style. So you had to yeah. rotate and then move that way and rotate, oh. move that way, you know? It was a bitch. And, and it, was, I, I, it was difficult. It was but difficult. Some people hated it. Some people loved it. But I felt like it, it definitely added to the atmosphere because it wasn't just easy. as like, oh, there's a zombie there. I better run the opposite way yeah. by hitting the joystick backwards. You had to rotate, you had to and rotate move that way, which is silly, but it also it just it definitely it's, added to the atmosphere. Yeah, because sure. it was harder to get around, and it, it just it was, I, I'd always like back up, and I'm like, oh, back it up too slow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh no, I'm just shooting this magnum. Like Barry just come through on this scene, Barry, 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 and he never come. Oh, yeah. Stupid Barry. Oh my gosh. Fun fact Where about are you? Resident Evil. Oh yeah. You know how the original Japanese version is called Biohazard? Yes. Do you know why they changed it to Resident Evil in the United States? Uh, I don't. They're worried about copyright issues with the name Biohazard. So they got together and came up with a bunch of names. And they settled on Resident Evil because the first one's in a house. Resident, Resident Evil. I Oh, I kind of get it. You know what? Yeah. Satch, Satch facts. Satch facts. Satch facts. Drop, that's that's going to be a new thing. <laughs> Drop and knock. Um, thank you for that, Ed, for the win. Never do that again. <laughs> never <laughs> tell people things. Yeah, never, tell, never, never, inform, never tell us anything This is an informational cool, show. Informational at all. So, no, it sounded like I, I, we've got some pretty good VGMs up there. You can check them out on the website. They'll be right under the podcast episode six. Make sure Moving, you keep the lights on. Make sure you keep the lights on. <laughs> I want and you to listen. Pants on. I want you to listen. If you're if you're a lady, then <laughs> I want you to listen. To this yeah, episode, if you have to run, episode. Better have your pants on. Sorry, Martin. Sorry, Martin. <laughs> more more about my pants. All about Nick's pants. <laughs> Moving well, on. You you want to have your pants off because those skinny jeans are probably tough. To <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all got skinny jeans on, and we're just sweating through them right now. Oh, it's um... speaking of Resident Evil. Don't we have a segment? Uh yeah, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. that was a that good was really segue. Right. Yes. Ever. That was really good. Let's go to Billy. Wow, everyone needs to go to Segway School. That's the type yeah. of professionalism you can <laughs> do while, while writing sad. a Segway. Hey, yeah. hey, everybody, yeah. shut up! <laughs> uh, shut up and go to the next thing. <laughs> <laughs> go to the next thing. I like pants. Hey, <laughs> hey, we're going here now. You're talking about your pants. Stop it. <laughs> we don't want to hear about that. No, I mean, it's true that we do have another part. Uh, He's right. very much influenced by Resident Evil and is actually the whole reason why we have it. Mm-hmm. Uh, for the viewers out there, or listeners out there, for the listeners out there, uh, there's uh, the original opening sequence for Resident Evil. I'm talking about the one that was on the original PlayStation. Oh, yeah. If you uh, haven't seen it, stop, press pause, press pause. and then look it up, look right, it up now. right now. Yeah. Watch it six times and realize <laughs> just how horribly great it is. It's... Simply just, it's like if you could condense the cheesiest horror flick into like a two second uh, video game movie, that, that's what that is. Absolutely. If you are a big Resident Evil fan and maybe you forgot, you're going to go back and watch this thing and you know, you're going to realize how perfect it is. It's perfect. <laughs> It, it's absolutely perfect. You're like, man, that's awesome. It tells a tale of the time. It, it does tell a tale. So do that. Hit pause. Come and then listen to our awesome segment. I think you guys are going to like it. We're going to try Possibly and remake terrible. it, uh, but in our own way. It's just another cheesy thing. Um, absolutely. Yeah, you want to get to that? All right, here we go. Boom. Yeah, yes, that probably easily one of the worst movies I've seen all, all year. Did you even see the... I thought it was great. No, nah, man, they get worse with each movie. Most of the movie was a webcam. Yeah, yeah I can make. There was so movie. much activity. I actually liked the part when there was like a ghost. Oh, yeah, the the, the part with the ghost. I didn't. Re- I didn't really get the ghost. I, I didn't get it. It was a ghost. Yeah, the ghost. No, yeah. yeah, it was definitely a ghost movie. Well, whatever it was, I was, I was, I was frightened. I was scared. <laughs> guys, 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 what, what, what is that? That is a person. No. Well, why is he, he's kind of walking weird? You're walking weird. <laughs> no, that looks like a really drunk person. He's obviously drunk. Dude, it's fine. Just well, get in the car. Wait. Oh my. Okay, he just bit somebody. Th- this isn't normal. Really? Okay, what are you freaked out about? Hey, 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 buddy, you. Hey, man, you okay? You just eating that guy? Dude, he's just eating that guy. It's cool. Listen, I'm pretty sure that's a zombie, and we should get to the car right now. Wait a second. Let's stop. Stop for a second. No, there's zombies coming over our way right now. No, there's dude. Stop for a second. Okay, okay. I want you to okay. stop for a second. Okay. I have the keys to the car. You sure do. I do. I have the keys to the car. The we zombies should... aren't even moving that fast. I'm just saying we should probably get to the car now before they get closer instead of considering Hey, wait a this. second. Look, look. I'm not worried about these drunk people. They're zombies. Well, they're not zombies. Okay. They're like moaning and stuff. I mean, look, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna go touch one. Hey, hey, man, hey, are you a zombie? He shouldn't be doing this. No, are you a zombie? He's not talking to me. I don't understand. 
He does seem more zombie-esque now that I look at him. Oh, oh, those are actually fuck. Okay, guys, okay, we need to get the fuck out of here. Oh, guys, let's just go. Let's go. just go. Keep going. There, there's a jack in the box right there. Oh crap, oh crap. Uh, Sorry, Mark. I'll come back to you. We're, we're safe in here, guys. I think we're gonna be all right. Uh, Are just you sure? Close the door. Close the door oh, over there, okay, guys. Okay. Just, just be quiet. Does not draw attention here. There's zombies outside. Who knows how many? Uh, just, just silence. Just yeah, I'll quiet. take a number Something. seven with a diet coke. What the? F and Are you? Are you kidding me, Chris? I'm Are fucking hungry and I'm scared. I, no, no you don't, dude. You don't order food when there's you're zombies. You're ordering outside. from a zombie. It's not a zombie, dude. Just I said curly, curly fries. That's a zombie. Shit. No. Oh, no. Chris. Dude, Edward, okay, this is not we, good. We gotta kill the zombie right now. I'm gonna throw my keys kill, at him. Kill him! Ah. You killed him. We got to, yeah, man. Okay, both of our friends are dead. Our friends are dead. But what are we gonna do right man, now, Edwin? What are you talking about? Only Ed, what are we gonna do? Only Mark's dead. Chris, Chris I don't, is I don't, fine, I don't man. know what to do right now. You're, it's just me and you. We're inside of a dude, fucking jack in the box. Chris is fine. And there's zombies everywhere. He's coming he's, over here, dude. Oh, Oh, he's, he's Dude, all right. Dude, Chris, how are you doing? I thought you got eaten. Chris is all right. Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah. You guys, have you seen my food anywhere? Yeah, I, I got your number uh, seven right here, dude. Uh, did you see get my side of brains? Oh, oh my god! Yeah! Oh, he's a zombie! Oh, no, oh, Edwin! Brain. He's coming right for you! I'm coming right for you! See, I told you! Are you? I think you're you're about. No, yeah, he's about to bite you. But he wants his food. I mean, like. No, you're the food. He's talking about. No, see, no, he, number he's seven, just about like, to bite you right now. Yep, there he goes. Oh. Okay. I don't have to do anymore. All my friends are dead, and one of them's about to eat me. Mark! Not all of them are dead. You're here! Damn right, I'm back with a bleeding terribly. Why'd you guys leave me? I, I'm, I'm sorry, I was kind of in a hurry. <sighs> whoa, what happened to Chris? Whoa, Mark, whoa. Help me, Chris is getting closer, he's gonna eat me. I am, I am here, and I will help you. Oh my god, I'll shoot him. Get him, get him, Mark. I'll shoot him, just stand, just stand, I, just stay still. Stay okay, still. Stay still. <laughs> <laughs> ah! You shot me! Yeah, I, yeah, I did. Why? I did shoot you, because you left me with all those zombies in the middle of the parking lot. Ah! How do you think I made it here? I don't know. By crawling for revenge to kill you and everybody else. Really? Yes. Really? You know, I'm just yeah. going to the hospital and hopefully I won't be infected. Yeah. You know, rotten hell. Ah. Rotten hell. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was fun. Well, that, that was, was terrible. Was, well, um, hilarious. Well, as long as I was, I'm still alive, technically. So oh. I'm dead. That was dope. Oh. I'm totally still that hungry. That was dope. Oh, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm kind of skinny. Everyone, everyone no, I definitely one of my favorite scenarios. I'm sorry, I, I used to just leave the theater, and um, one of the theaters I used to go to, literally just a parking lot, it would just be nothing but grass, and you turn around, it's just a theater. I'm like, a zombie's going to come through this grass, and they're going to kill everybody. And I'm going to get away, but I'm going to have to leave some of my friends behind, and that's going to hurt. <laughs> Which is weird because you're the token black guy. Absolutely, yeah. you know, which <laughs> you is first. really weird. Like, so then I'm alive, so it's like, oh, cool. What situation do I get into next when I die first? <laughs> really? <laughs> I, go, I go home. I like, I go like to my roommates, and they're I'm like, everybody's waiting. I'm like, fuck. Yeah, I'm you out get away from the zombies and then stumbled on some stairs and breaking neck. <laughs> like, ah! like, oh, that was ironic. Yeah, that that would have been awful. But <laughs> no, again, I, I'm pretty sure you guys would enjoy that, that, that Resident Evil that cheese. But um, if that ever happens to you in real life, just uh. Run away. Save your friends. Okay? We need to make shirts. Like, you know, hey, hey, zombies. Hey, if they're zombies, save your friends. Save your friends. There's zombies out there. Absolutely. Yeah. Don't leave your friends. <laughs> well, we got an indie artist of the week, don't uh, we? We sure do. Uh, it's this great person. <laughs> <laughs> He's still a little shook because I killed him. <laughs> yeah. A little shook from that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I was shot. Like, you're an ass. Um, no, it's, just, it's I, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm, I don't know how to say his name. Cubby, Kubi, Cubby. It's a guy from Norway. They have weird names over there. Great music from that spot, though. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, no, Terrible names, though. <laughs> yeah. Terrible names. That's pretty cool, yeah. <laughs> Coming from Just Mark and Nate Bit. 
Uh, <laughs> it, it's pretty awesome music. This guy, he's only, like, he's young. He's 18. Uh, at least that's what his profile says. And um, I got his permissions. I mean, he's really cool. So, uh, hopefully he's updated. Yeah, totally fine. I like that. young dude. Oh, yeah, she was 17. She never used permission. Absolutely. Yeah, no, it's, I got his permission. I have some cookies. Yeah, Nate Bit said he was 18. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not having underage music producers <laughs> on the show. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh. no, he, has, he has, like, a good, like, 31 tracks online and he just putting stuff out it's, it's really good it's quality stuff um, I want, I want to, why don't we just lead out with one of his tracks and we'll, we'll uh, go to our, you know, next month I think we're, what are we going to do we have next, uh, next, next month is going to be a huge month we we really ran through this whole theme month which was kind of like it was big for us and we were really excited to get to some sound effects for you guys we got more we got the video content going with Chris on the team helping us out and next more coming along nice. I'm happy. Yeah, if, you're, if you've been listening to us through this whole series, just like, thanks for listening. Thanks Please. for listening. Yeah. Let us know Thank how uh, how good or bad we are. Absolutely. Uh, you can email us uh, at satch at gmail.com or you can uh, email us at satch at satch vgm.com if you like that one. Yeah, all those are cool. I yeah, like them all. Uh, those are all those are fun. Yeah, cool. Oh, hey, yeah, uh, on the Facebook too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Facebook slash. Say that one more time. Uh, Facebook.com slash Thatch DGM. Cool. Hey, signing out, everybody. Hey, thanks, Chris, for coming by and uh, being thanks, part of the show again. Yeah, being part of the show forever. forever. He's going to be forever. forever. Yeah, he's just trapped. Forever. Just Mark signing out. Forever. Yeah. Forever.